And now, it's a Luckman's turn. With his incredible running speed, you don't need to worry as much about sliding. Which is a bit of a good thing. As a result, generally speaking, you want to focus on keeping up a solid offense. It's an unfortunate fact that, uh, his scythe may be capable of deflecting at least some of your shots. The only explanation I can come up with for that random little tink sound from that layer. I wish I knew how, it, how that happened, huh? As you can see, case in point, while Lechman may not be able to do as much damage to bosses, his incredible speed makes up for that in basically every way. Incidentally, originally a Lechman could accidentally cause the game to crash here by destroying a necessary off-screen object. That got fixed. Oh, there you are, little brother. I'm surprised you managed to defeat Deathman. This is freaking Alekman we're talking about! For a time, he was the original Nightmare Boss! How are you surprised by this? Of course, how could a low-voltage robot like him ever... Wait, come again? <laughs> Alekman so absorbed into himself, his own narcissism, that he com... Beautiful, I love it. Shockman's attack opened my eyes, Alekman. I wonder why I never opened Alekman's. Did I skip something again? No, I don't think I did. Preposterous! Good words, Alekman. Good vocabulary. It seems your brain isn't running on full power. And it seems yours isn't running on full sanity. <laughs> Eesh, someone needs to get out of the house. Me? Are you joking? I'm not the one involved in these shady activities. Point. This reflects badly on the family, you know. Hmm. <laughs> I've got another family that understands my vision. We're your family, idiot! Elect man telling it like it is. If that's true, don't get in my way. Oh, what? Just what do you aim to do? And Justice Man has no response. Something about the fact that Justice Man has no response to that whatsoever feels... oddly poignant. Especially since, as we will find out later, Justice Man doesn't stand a chance against a lack man at all. And here we are with Cutman. I'm gonna admit, you might think that Cutman would have a hard time here. Except Deathman's scythe must be made of wood. Because Cutman carves right through him. Like, at this point, like, this is almost, it's almost silly. Cutman, well, as you saw, Cutman absolutely wrecks Deathman. So if you want an easy time fighting Deathman, and you don't feel like charade cloning him, grab Cutman. He does fine. We finally found you! Yay! I'm not going to try using that voice again. I wish you hadn't done this. Eh? Let me cut to the chase. Shockman's attack changed me, Cutman. Plot, 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 plot! You've turned into a bad guy? Bad guy? No. Informed guy? Perhaps. You're going to start hurting people, aren't you? I've tried to make this as peaceful as possible. 
Yeah, that explains death, man. Ooh, shots fired! Mega Man forced my hand! So what happens when the humans don't give you what you want? Gonna try and justify that? You still have the mind of a child. Let the adults handle things. Yeah, funny thing. Cutman is one of the oldest of Dr. Light's works. Definitely way older than you. And sure, he may have his childish moments, but I am not going to deny, Justice Man, that he had some incredibly good points over you there. You can't call him childish, I'm sorry. He is naive, but he is not stupid. Do not underestimate the one who runs with scissors. And last but not least, Tornado Man. This might just be because I rarely use him, but I honestly have a fairly hard time fighting Death Man with this character. Though, probably wouldn't know it from uh, how I'm doing right now. My preferred strategy is definitely to abuse the tornado blow for the first little bit of the round. What the? Um... That happened? That was probably the most successful Tornado Man round I've had with him, and I I have no idea what happened. Um, uh, dialogue, right. Phew, there you are. You shouldn't have done that, brother. What? Save you? It wasn't you that saved me. Through Shockman's attack, fate saved me. We should all know by now that fate is kind of a jerk. That's a lot of hot air you're blowing. Is it? Of all robots, I thought you'd understand the most. Oh? Do explain. That same law nearly claimed your life before. Or were you programmed to forget? We all have to die sometime. Perhaps. But not by human hands. Then how are you going to die? Robots certainly aren't going to kill you unless they go cuckoo. Without the rock force, you'd be a pile of junk right now. It'd be more than what you've become. Ooh, shots fired! Seems you're still caught in a storm of pure ignorance. Perhaps it's best you take shelter. It's kind of interesting how Tornado Man doesn't even try to buy into some of the nonsense Justice Man is spewing. It's very interesting, that. Anyway, there is one more scene to show, which is the same regardless of who defeats Death Man. Dr. Light, Justice Man is behind all of this. It's as I feared. As you've been away, I've been researching the damage on Justice Man's in integrated circuit. I can't say for certain yet, but it is important that you return him to the lab immediately. Otherwise, we might all be in grave danger. We'll do our best. That we will. That we will. And with that, that's the end of the bonus segment. So, thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I do hope you enjoyed the dialogue and also me beating up Death Man all the time. And, I shall see you for the next episode. Until then, goodbye!